A few weeks ago, I posted a video about how to play Minecraft on your PowerPC Mac, where I set up a G4 optimized version of Minecraft 125 on my heavily upgraded Apple G4 Cube that's about 21 years old, and honestly, I got pretty playable performance out of it. And the response to that video was really awesome. You guys had a lot of great suggestions to push this thing even further. So check out that video right here if you haven't seen it, but the main suggestion was to set up a Minecraft server, which will take the load of world generation off of this cube and put it onto another machine. And that's gonna dramatically help the frame rate and playability of the game on the cube. So today, let's do just that, but we're not gonna use just any computer for our server. So stay tuned. Today's Macintosh shenanigans are brought to you by PCBWay. So many retro computing projects that we've come to depend on started with prototyping via PCBWay.com. In no small part due to their great pricing and turnarounds as fast as 24 hours. Just take a look through their shared project sections where you can find absolute gems like this amazing entire Apple One clone. So if you have any PCB needs, I hope you'll give PCBWay.com a try. So the last time we were hacking around with the cube, at the end, I showed off a Mac Mini. And I thought it could make a pretty good Minecraft server with the hopes that you all could hop on with me and this would be strong enough to handle all of us playing together. Well, as you might know, this year I'm taking part in the Mac Yak Power PC Challenge where for an entire week, we're gonna try and use nothing but Power PC computers. And this Mac Mini, it's Intel Core 2 Duo. And while that might make a great server, I wanna do something more in line with our challenge, which is why we're ditching the mini and we're replacing it with this, right? Hang on a second. This is my dual two gigahertz Power Mac G5, which I think will make a pretty good PowerPC server for our PowerPC Minecrafting. With eight gigs of RAM and a fairly fast SSD, it should make just as good of a Minecraft 125 server as that Intel Mac Mini would, albeit with maybe just a tiny bit more power draw. Now I've already installed Wicknix's Ubuntu 1604 Remix for PowerPC, and I did that to hopefully get access to much more recent versions of Java, but this is actually the wrong distribution to run this server on, and we'll get into why that is in a bit. But for now, we have OpenJDK 8 running on here versus the maximum of Java 6 on Leopard. And this version of Lubuntu is actually quite special, and I'll link to it below. But basically, the inexorable Wicknix, who is behind much of the fun, modern vintage apps that we love, such as 10.5tube and the Arctic Fox browser, he's packaged up versions of Lubuntu tweaked to run especially well on PowerPC machines with all kinds of software that runs well on these machines as well as fan modules and the battery indicator and firmware for Wi-Fi and trackpad stuff and tons of really great stuff that make Ubuntu run super well on PowerPC. And if you have a PowerPC Mac that you want a reasonably modern Linux on without a lot of hassle, I definitely recommend checking out the 16.04 and 12.04 Lubuntu remixes from Wicknix. So instead of your standard just Minecraft server, I decided to go with the bucket server, which actually goes all the way back to kind of the beginning of Minecraft. And this is the version 4.125. And I did that so I would have some other options, like some plugins for a little bit of extra security, since this is such an old version of Minecraft and I'm gonna open it up to the internet. And I've also taken a special start.sh shell script file. And this is actually from a Minecraft install guide meant for Raspberry Pi, where he's actually running paper MC, but he wrote all this stuff to kind of tone down the server to work really well within the confines of a four gigabyte Raspberry Pi. So I'm using a lot of those same optimizations here on this server to try to get the best possible performance out of it. So I just took out all the stuff for paper MC and left the bucket MC stuff in here. And yeah, 
I'll link to uh, this guide below because it's very helpful to run a server on low-end hardware. And then the way that script works is we need to run it from the start.sh script, but we need to actually install a program called screen first. And what screen does is it kind of lets you run this in the background on a screen and you can view that screen from another machine. After you log in, you can have a logged in user and the user on the machine here view the screen at the same time. So basically that makes remote administration of the running server much easier. All right, so screen is installed. So let's launch the server. I just have to make that executable and now start. So the server is booting up now and I can do screen dash R to jump into it and I can watch the server do its stuff here. And I can also leave this off and go to my laptop, SSH into this G5 and watch the server from there as well. So pretty cool. Let me show you real quick why this is not the right version of Linux to be running on this machine to run the server. So this Mac has eight gigs of RAM, which we can see right here. We're using 363 megs out of 7,900 megs, which is eight gigs of RAM. But although this is a 64 bit kernel, the user space and file system are 32 bit. And unfortunately that means we can only run a 32 bit version of Java. So if we were to try to run the server with more than 3.5 gigs of RAM, like say we want to run with seven gigs of RAM, which would be ideal. Unfortunately we get the specified size exceeds the maximum representable size could not create the Java virtual machine. And that's because the 32 bit version of Java, can only address 3.5 gigs of RAM. So we're gonna to have to get a full 64 bit version of Linux on here, such as Debian or Void, in order to take full advantage of this Paramac G5. But fortunately, those optimizations that we have for, technically for the Raspberry Pi, come in real handy here because it's optimized for just four gigs of memory. Hey look, we've already got somebody logged in. All right, let's take a look at just how much of a difference this makes running Minecraft on the G4 cube. All right, so here we are in Minecraft and I have already set up the server. And here we are. And hey, look, we have Fox 198 already on the server here because actually I already gave out this server to a couple of people from the Mac Yak and Action Retro discords to come try out. So if we take a look around here, we've already set up some fun stuff. So here's my little house with my Apple logo on top of it. And I set up a Happy Mac with a uh, little bit demonic eyes. And yeah, if we take a look at the frame rate, right now we're getting 20, 21, dipping down a bit to 18. But yeah, my experience so far, we've been getting in the 20s. I think because it's nighttime, it's going a wee bit slower. Well, what happened to your midsection, skeleton friend? But yeah, this is perfectly playable. I have been playing around in the server, building random stuff. And well, the server has been a little bit finicky and a little bit moody. It has crashed a couple times, but for the most part, it works. So I think I definitely need to get a 64-bit version of Linux on here, like hopefully Debian. And that will let me dedicate all eight gigs, well, seven gigs to be safe, to Minecraft. And then we'll be able to hopefully have a lot of you all on here. So actually in the description of this video below, I'm gonna put a link to the server and originally I was gonna say, 
only join if you have a PowerPC Mac, but I'm going to expand it. I'm going to say if you have any vintage machine that you can get Minecraft 125 running on, come join the server. And I want to see just how much this Power Mac G5 can put up with. But honestly, on this 21 year old Apple G4 cube, this is really pretty good. I am pretty happy with this. Oh, look, here's my sheep prison. Sheep jail. These are the bad sheep. So like I said in the description below, I'm going to put the link to this server and just come on in and join. It's on creative, build whatever you want, and we'll see how much fun we can have with this thing. So let's try the server out in a couple of other G4 Macs and see just how much of a difference it makes. First up, we have my beloved 12-inch PowerBook G4, which has a 1.5 gigahertz processor, 1.5 gigs of RAM, and a GeForce 5200 with 64 megs of VRAM. All right, we have our server still up here, and one thing that this PowerBook has going for it is that the screen resolution is going to be much lower, so it's actually running at, I think, 800 by 600 here, and that's really going to give it a leg up, and wow, yeah, this is incredibly smooth. Still loading in some stuff. Hey, look at this pretty sweet rainbow pathway. Yeah, our friend is still in here. Yeah, there we go. We're fully loaded in now, and this is buttery smooth. Let's take a look at our frames per second. Yeah, so the lowest it's hitting is in the 30s, but when we're idling, it was going up to the 70s. I saw like 71 for a second. So yeah, 50s. Oh yeah, and I actually upped the render distance a tiny bit. Let's put it all the way down like we had it on the cube and see how high our frame rate gets now. Yeah, so we're idling in the 60s with the lowest possible draw distance and absolutely buttery smooth. But since we can do it, we'll add just that tiny bit of extra render distance just to see some extra trees in the distance and this tower. And we can really admire Fox's house with these super smooth frame rates. All right, let's try a different Mac. Okay, so here's my titanium PowerBook G4, a machine near and dear to my heart, because one very similar to this was my daily driver for a number of years. Now this one has an 867 megahertz G4 processor, so just above the bare minimum 800 megahertz that supposedly is required to run Minecraft. And it only has 512 megs of RAM because I took the RAM out and put it in another machine and well, this will make a good test. It also only has a 32 megabyte ATI video card. So yeah, I'm not expecting Minecraft to run that well on here. Okay, now I really don't have high hopes for this because the screen resolution is so much bigger. And no, oh, actually it's not that bad. Well, surprisingly, this feels smoother than the cube did. Very surprisingly. Let's see what our frame rate is. Yeah, 25 frames per second. Well, some dips, but... You know what? This is, uh... Maybe about as good as the cube? No. You know, I'd say this is just a bit worse than the cube, but honestly, this is perfectly playable. Yeah, we're getting in the teens and 20s, but a playable teens and 20s. I'd say this is only about 15% worse than the cube. I mean, it is a somewhat more modern machine being from the very last run of the Titanium PowerBook. But the processor is slower and it has much less RAM. So I'm really surprised that it's running as well as it is. Yeah, I'm getting between 18 and like 25 and dips down into the single digits. But all in all, hey, what are you looking at? Get out of here. That guy was looking at me funny. I'm going to have to put him into sheep jail. Yeah, all in all, this is very impressive. All right, let's try 
one more G4 power book. Okay, so here's a machine that should never in a million years be able to even dream about playing Minecraft. This is my PowerBook G3 Pismo that I've upgraded to a G4 500 megahertz. It's also got one gig of RAM, but an absolutely minuscule eight megs of VRAM in its ATI Rage graphics card. Let's connect this to the server and see if it has any chance of a playable frame rate. All right, that's already not looking so good. We've launched into Minecraft, but the background of the splash screen is basically a slideshow. But let's pop into the server and see how it goes. All right, so we're logging in and that's a bit slow. Looks like we have some friends on the server. That's good. Well, I can chat at least. All right, we're slowly getting in. Man, we are still loading in. And there goes a flying octopus, that's normal. All right, so we're just about at a slideshow, but hey, did you ever think you were gonna see Minecraft on a PowerBook Pismo? Hey look, somebody uh, outlined my little Happy Mac and put a sign there. Let's see if we can go over there and see what the sign says. Welcome to Macintosh. <laughs> oh, hey, there's something. PPCM. Yeah, looks like we have some friends adding some cool stuff that we're never going to see trying to use this Pismo. But just out of curiosity, let's see what our frame rate says. One. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting between one and three FPS. Wow, it says zero FPS. I've never seen it say zero FPS. <laughs> okay, so as cool as it might be to see Minecraft running on a PowerBook Pismo from 1997, I'm gonna go ahead and say, even with this 500 megahertz G4 upgrade, it's not really playable, but yeah, definitely cool. Okay, so I had the server running on Ubuntu for a couple of days and it was never stable, always laggy. And when you looked at the system utilization in HTOP, it was basically running maxed out CPU 100% of the time. So I decided to switch to my favorite PowerPC Linux distro and I put Adelie Linux 64-bit on here and now it runs like a dream. So. I have the server running, it's been running for a couple of hours and I've had up to six people in here and there's practically no lag whatsoever. So right now we're in the server running on screen. So if I do control A D, I can get out of there and we can pop into HTOP and look at this utilization, that's crazy. So. Before, CPU 1 was just maxed at 100% and then CPU 2 was running like system stuff and it was down in the 20s. But now, look at this incredibly low CPU usage. And the reason is, we're now running fully 64-bit. So we've got 64-bit Java, and if we do Java version, we can see OpenJDK 64-bit server. So this is... OpenJDK 8, fully 64-bit. And we can see we're running on kernel 5.4, so extremely recent. And what's even more interesting is I haven't even installed Adelie yet. I'm literally running this off of the live DVD because I just wanted to test and see how good it was. And it is far, far beyond my expectations. So I am running 
the Minecraft server now very, very stable with seven gigs of RAM dedicated to it. And yeah, it flies. So if you're going to set up any kind of server on your Power Mac G5, I'd recommend Adelie Linux. And if you want to see how to install it, because it's not as straightforward as Ubuntu, actually way back in the beginning of the channel, I did an install video on my iMac G3 of Adelie Linux, and I'll link that right here. But by the time this video goes out, I'll have this installed on the G5, and it should be even faster than it is right now, which is pulling resources off of the DVD all the time. So yeah, thank you, Adelie Linux. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Macintosh shenanigans like this, please subscribe down below and I'll see you next time. And a special thanks to Chris, Justin, Sorta Eclectic, and Spike, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping make these shenanigans possible.